The Fujian ship is about to be commissioned, and the supporting J-35 fighters are quickly becoming the center of attention. Compared with the US F-35C, the J-35 has a significant size advantage, which not only brings more internal space, but also improves a series of core performance. This twin-engine heavy fifth-generation aircraft has superior stealth and a longer combat radius, providing China's carrier battle groups with unprecedented strike capabilities. How will the J-35 change the landscape of naval and air combat? What tactical innovations will its emergence bring? When J-35 and F-35C appear in the same frame, the visual impact almost makes people not believe their eyes. This is not an illusion. J-35 is indeed a whole circle bigger than F-35. If the F-35C is a lightweight boxer on the battlefield, then the J-35 is a real heavyweight player. Specifically to the data, the J-35 empty weight of about 17 tons, the maximum takeoff weight can reach a staggering 25-30 tons, obviously more than the F-35C 24-27 tons limit. This difference in size is not simply a matter of being bigger. In the world of fighter design, more volume means more interior space, which translates directly into more fuel capacity, larger weapons bays, and more generous equipment layout margins. Simply put, the F-35C is like a compact car that is stuffed with all kinds of equipment, while the J-35 is like a spacious sub, which is not only fully equipped, but also has enough space to install a more powerful engine. It is worth mentioning that part of the reason why the J-35 is bigger is that it adopts a twin-engine design, which contrasts sharply with the F-35C's single-engine design. The dual-engine design not only provides a stronger power output, but also adds an important guarantee of flight safety. The U.S. Navy insisted on choosing a twin-engine design for the F-14 and F-18 for this very reason, and the single-engine design of the F-35C simplifies maintenance. But in the high-risk environment of maritime combat, this design makes people sweat. The larger size of the J-35 also brings another important advantage, a significant increase in combat radius. The F-35C has a combat radius of around 1,000 kilometers. While military analysts estimate that the J-35's combat radius could reach 1,400-1,500 kilometers, which means that it is capable of carrying out strikes or patrols at much longer distances missions. In modern naval warfare, this range advantage could be the deciding factor between life and death, allowing carriers to launch attacks from a safer distance. The size advantage may seem simple, but it actually determines the upper limit of the basic performance of the warplane. Behind this superficial difference is the real competition of design concepts and technological strength, and the J-35's size advantage is slowly revealing the technological breakthroughs of China's aviation industry. Volume advantage is certainly important, but in modern air combat, whether it can be found by the enemy radar is the key to life and death. In this regard, the gap between J-35 and F-35 is also eye-popping. With the exposure of the J-35's belly photos, an amazing fact has surfaced, it has a nearly perfect smooth belly design. In contrast, the F-35's belly looks like it is full of bumps, with large and small bumps and irregular shapes everywhere. This is by no means an insignificant detail. In the field of stealth technology, a smooth belly is like a ninja wearing an invisibility cloak, while a raised and uneven belly is like a wizard wearing a cloak but revealing his ankles. The belly of the F-35 is like a backpack bulging with all kinds of equipment, while the belly of the J-35 is like a piece of well-polished mirror. From a technical point of view, the core of stealth performance is to reduce radar reflection. When radar waves hit a smooth surface, the signal will reflect in a single direction, greatly reducing the chance of being received. And every bump, every irregular shape, may become a radar wave, reflector, the enemy's detection signal completely reflected back. The J-35's handling of stealth details is almost harsh. From the wing actuator to the flight lights, all the openings that may affect the stealth performance have gone through a precise diamond-shaped serration processing. These seemingly insignificant serrations can scatter radar waves to multiple directions, significantly reducing the radar cross-sectional area. Even more surprisingly, the J-35 S bomb bay openings are caulked, meaning that even the tiniest of seams have been taken into account. Why did the F-35 suffer from such a design flaw? The answer isn't complicated. The F-35 has been forced to compromise on utility in order to meet the multiple needs of the three U.S. militaries as well as allied nations. It is like a student who is asked to do well in academics, sports, music and art all at the same time, and ends up being good at everything while being bad at everything. The J-35, on the other hand, is like a genius who focuses on a single area 
and is born for one goal, to become the best shipboard stealth fighter. The advantages brought by this focus are not only reflected in the stealth performance, but also in the informationized combat capability of the whole fighter, which enables the J-35 to play a more unique role in the new generation battlefield. Surprisingly, J-35 is not only a fighter with outstanding stealth performance, it is also a mobile information center. On the modern battlefield, information is often more decisive than artillery shells. If the traditional fighter is compared to a warrior fighting alone, then the J-35 is a commander-in-chief who is both a general and a strategist. Wang Yongqing, chief expert of Xinyang Institute of AVIC, once compared J-35 to an organizing guard, and this image is eye-opening. Just like the organizing guard on the basketball court, who can not only break through with the ball to score points, but also mobilize the whole team to attack, J-35 is not only able to fight independently, but also able to collaborate with and command other combat platforms. This ability stems from the new generation of avionics system and advanced data chain carried by J-35. It is like a high-performance computer that can process massive data from various sensors in real time and distribute key intelligence to other units in the battle group. In actual combat, this means the J-35 can spot enemy aircraft and then direct ground air defense systems or other fighters to intercept them while it continues to perform its primary mission. What is more remarkable is that J-35 and J-20 form a unique, heavy center combination. If the J-20 is the sharp knife of the Chinese Air Force, focusing on air superiority, then the J-35 is a multifaceted player with multi-mission capabilities. These two fifth-generation aircraft are not a simple high-low match, but a complementary relationship with a clear division of tasks. In the battle group of Fujian ships, J-35 assumes an irreplaceable core role. It is not only an important part of the carrier's air defense circle, but also capable of performing ground-to-sea strike missions. This versatility allows the limited deck space to be utilized to maximize combat power. It is worth mentioning that the J-35 even has the ability to command drones in combat. Imagine a scene like this, a J-35 leading the way, followed by a group of unmanned combat platforms, just like a general leading his troops, launching an offensive to the enemy position. This kind of manned-unmanned cooperative Combat mode represents the development direction of future air war. The comprehensive capability of the J-35 also reflects China's overall planning for its naval combat system, which is fundamentally different from the U.S. naval strategy. The U.S. Navy takes shipboard aircraft as the core striking force, while destroyers mainly take on the protective function, which is like a boxing team centered on the boxer, with others responsible for defense. The Chinese Navy is more like an all-around basketball team, with the 055 large drive and 052D destroyers as the tactical core and aircraft carriers and carrier-based aircraft providing key support. In this system, the role of the J-35 is particularly critical. It not only has to provide strong air cover for the carrier battle group, but also has to clear the threats ahead so that the destroyers carrying long-range missiles such as the Hawk-21 can play a safe role. More notably, the J-35's design is fully adapted to the Fujian ship's electromagnetic catapult system. Compared with traditional steam catapult or skid steer takeoff, electromagnetic catapult allows the ship's aircraft to take off with more weapons and fuel, dramatically increasing combat capability. The J-35's shipboard adaptability is not only reflected in the takeoff phase, but also in the landing segment. It is equipped with an advanced teletype maneuvering system, which enables the pilot to land the ship accurately in rough seas. The whole system is like an experienced helmsman, even in the most adverse weather conditions, can bring the fighter safely home. In a sense, the difference between the F-35C and the J-35 is like the difference between the F-14 and the MiG-25 during the Cold War. The former is a compromise that is bound by multiple requirements, while the latter is a specialized fighter tailored for a single target. Most amazingly, China is quietly reshaping the direction of global naval aircraft development with cutting-edge equipment like the J-35. From chaser to leader, this strategic shift signifies that China's aviation industry has stood at the forefront of the world's naval aircraft technology, and the J-35 is just the beginning of this transformation, with more surprises waiting to be unveiled in the future.